Gila Window Film makes it simple to add privacy or glare control, as well as a nice decorative look to any bathroom window. Todd's here to show you step-by-step -step how it's done. He'll make it look easy, not because he's had years of practice, but because it really is. As you're working, keep in mind that as an alternative to written instructions, you can use this video to help you during your project. Just keep a viewing device handy as you work. The first step is important. The cleaner the window, the better your final result will be. You want to make sure your window is free of debris and soapy residue on both sides before you begin. Spray your window all over generously with standard glass cleaner. Next, take a tool, such as a razor blade scraper, and gently remove any stubborn buildup around door hardware or edges. Check the glass surface as well, scraping away anything that might interfere with contact between film and glass. Now, generously spray your window a second time and use a rubber squeegee to get it squeaky clean. Overlapping strokes are best. Next, wipe the window surface and edges dry with a low lint cloth. Now measure your window from top to bottom and left to right. Make a note of exact measurements, but plan to cut the film one inch larger on each side. Excess will be trimmed later for a better fit. If your bathroom counter is large enough, you can cut your film to size there. If not, relocate to another clean, flat surface to cut the film, such as the dining room table. We are going to demonstrate using one of our privacy control films that has a clear adhered liner. We also have some static cling privacy control and some static cling glare control films that use white adhered liners. Be aware that the techniques demonstrated in this video also apply to these products. As you unroll the film, be sure to remove the instructions. You may want to rest something heavy on one end as well to hold the film in place as you work. Now mark the cuts you need to make and use scissors to carefully cut the film to size. To loosen clear or white film liners so you can peel it away, use two pieces of tape. Attach a 1 to 2 inch piece of tape to each side of one corner of the film. Press the tape pieces together then quickly pull apart. With the two corners started, you can now pull the liner completely away from the film. Spray the unlined film generously with application solution. You should be spraying the side of the film that was covered by the liner before. This is the side that will press up against the glass. Go back to the window and spray once more with application solution. Now, carefully pick up the wet film by the top two corners, walk it to the window, and lay the wet side of the film against the wet glass. Keep the top edge level with the outer edges overlapping the frame. The film will flow smoothly onto the glass. Remember, if you have a factory edge, align it with the window edge. You won't need to trim that side. Look for air bubbles more than a few inches across. Smooth any you find down and out to the side with your hand. Now uniformly spray the side of the film facing you to wet the outside surface. Now set the film in place. Firmly squeegee it along the center from top to bottom. Next, starting at the top of the window, squeegee horizontally pushing from the center to one side, stopping just short of the edge where there is extra film. Continue with overlapping strokes down to the bottom of the window. Repeat on the opposite side as well. Before trimming away extra film, take the yellow hard card from the application kit and press along all edges, paying special attention to corners. Now remove the safety cap from the green tool and place the blade at the corner of the window. Carefully cut away excess film, pulling down and away. When you're five to six inches away from the next corner, stop and place the blade firmly into the new corner, 
then trim to meet where you stopped. Trim the remaining sides the same way. Yes, there's a foolproof way to piece together our film to fit even the most ginormous window. When your windows are larger than a Gila film, you can borrow a wallpapering technique to create a perfect seam. Here's how you do it. Vertically overlap two film pieces. Look for air bubbles more than a few inches across. Smooth any you find down and out to the side with your hand. Now uniformly spray the side of the film facing you to wet the outside surface. Now set the film in place. Firmly squeegee it along the center from top to bottom. Next, starting at the top of the window, squeegee horizontally, pushing from the center to one side, stopping just short of the edge where there is extra film. Continue with overlapping strokes down to the bottom of the window. Before trimming away extra film, take the yellow hard card from the application kit and press along all edges, paying special attention to corners. Now remove the safety cap from the green tool and place the blade at the corner of the window. Carefully cut away excess film, pulling down and away. When you're five to six inches away from the next corner, stop and place the blade firmly into the new corner, then trim to meet where you stopped. Trim the remaining sides the same way. After edges are completely trimmed, Spray your window again with application solution, covering it well. Use the yellow hard card or a rubber squeegee to seal the film in place, working in overlapping strokes from the middle out. To help with drying, wrap the yellow hard card in just one layer of low lint cloth or an absorbent towel and push remaining moisture out from between the glass and film, starting each stroke three inches or so in. Rotate cloth to a dry section after every few strokes. On the vertically overlapped film pieces, use a ruler as a guide to cut through both layers. After cutting, first peel away the loose film from the top, then lift and slide the other loose piece from underneath. To finish the seam, re-wet the film, then squeegee from top to bottom, slowly and firmly. A week after installation, you should waterproof the seam with a coat of clear fingernail polish. Finally, wipe your window clean, then stand back and admire your work. For additional useful info, see our other videos with tips for working with Gila Static Cling Window Film.